Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 17th of December. We're going to look at the NASDAQ and then we're going to have a look at a few NASDAQ stocks and then we'll look at the uh, S&P. So with the uh, NASDAQ here, we're looking at uh, wave 3 here with an ABC for wave 4 here and then wave 1 here and 2 here and looking at wave 3 here. Now wave 3 is a bit sluggish as I've um, always mentioned um, but it is performing in terms of giving the right structure in terms of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, and 5 moving up here further. Um, so it may end up being a little bit shorter than wave one here, but that means that uh, wave three may not reach the 13,000 and wave four will be here and we'll end up with a shorter wave five to satisfy the actual structure at that particular point in time. So um, yes, it could be counted differently, um, but uh, I like to stay with the lower end, the conservative count, because otherwise expectations get too high, and there's, if they get too high, then the disappointment's too high. So we just go step by step, and one of the steps that we're taking is that being long on 12,500 and setting the target at uh, 12,800. So we're using the Fibonacci numbers 1, 2, 3, 5, and 8. Uh, from 12,000 to 13,000, so 100, 200, 300, then 500 and 800. So there are numbers, that's what we're working through. Um, so based on that conservative view, let's just go into the uh, intraday and uh, start pulling this apart. So it looks a little bit better here, doesn't it, where you've got wave one here and then it's got wave three way up th through here. So it's got you know a much larger structure and it looks everything looks okay with that you know um, and the count is one and two and three and four and five and like I mentioned um, I'm just taking the conservative view you could count this uh, differently so from wave four here to wave five here we're looking for five smaller waves of one two three four and five here to make the fifth wave it may not get up to the 13,000 it may just be uh, much closer to the um, to the 12,800 or within group two here we've got this little trend line running through here as well so this all could be much lower uh, in this space here so what we're looking for um, also here as well is on the 13,000 we're looking for really the arrival which may not arrive um, Christmas and all that sort of stuff um, and then the reaction the first high above the level uh, and then the ABC pattern here for a larger correction at that point uh, so let's just move in I'm not sure what intraday charts I've got here okay so wave three and four here <coughs> and Yesterday we looked at um, being long above the 12,500 uh, area and also above here as well. So counting up from wave four here, um, I've just adjusted this a little bit as taking off the cash market as one and two here, one and two and three and four and going up for five here. Um, we'll see how that goes. It may just be one and two and three and four and five here. And then we'll be looking for wave four. So we can expect this wave four to be pulling back roughly to the way for one lesser degree here so we can put that uh, in here the um, the uh, S&P is even looking more lazy than this here um, but once wave four is finished here so um, it I mean it's good enough for wave five to sit on top here but it's just a little bit short compared to one two and three here so I'm thinking one two three four five but uh, if that's the case we'll see some sort of ABC here pulling back roughly maybe short of that position there and then seeing wave five to the upside how far will wave five go will it reach the 13,000 I don't know um, psychological finishing line into Christmas and all those sorts of things um, We've got some important news uh, this week, um, so we'll see how that um, how that plays out. Um, but what we can do without stop here is we can. I mean, technically we should be able to put our stop here, but we don't want that way for taking us out. So, but we want to be profit on that one, so at least break even on that one. So I'll just pop it in there. Um, a little bit of a risk here. Let's just. Uh, 
trend lines are kind of handy, also useless as well, but they, that seems to be sort of hitting in there. We'd expect wave four to break the trend line, okay? So don't hit the panic button on that point. Um, and you might want to also, once that top comes into there, um, adjust that over here, and that will help capture that wave four a little bit better at that side. Okay, so that's it there. Um, I'm just going to have a look at the stocks because well we're long in some of them we're not long in google here because um we've been waiting for it to pull back but um we are long on it uh, not not on our official trades but i mean i've been looking on the intraday charts here for this and we've got long positions in but um uh, i won't be fussed about them at the moment i was expecting this can be two things here it can be wave one here and two here and then green wave one and green wave two or it can be wave three here and wave four here and then pushing up for wave five. So there's two different counts we can have, but I'll be tracking both of them. But in still in the meantime here, we're looking for this to pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree at least. Uh, so if this takes off up here, then you can go along above the 1800 here for that. Uh, Um, but still expecting more upside and uh, closer to the 2000 at that point. But it hasn't lifted off here yet. But we are seeing stocks lift off now. So Amazon uh, here, we looked at, um, well, this can be counted in two different ways. We could count this as having wave four over, over here where wave A is. And I'll just dull that out there. And that would be in line with many other stocks. And then looking at wave one here, blue wave one back for two and then up for one again here. But um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. It sort of holds better as, as a wave four here. Um, either way, the takeaway from this really is, is that this move here is corrective. It's in three waves. That means that this is corrective. That means that this can also be corrective here. And it also means it will take out that high there at some point. And we've just been waiting for this to finish. The other way to count this is the the little um, triangle pattern that I've got. It's an A and a B and a C and a D and an E wave here. A bit dodgy on the D, um, but um, yeah. Uh, look, uh, expecting it to pop up. It's from the low here over the days. So it's been pushing up quite nicely. Um, it was, we'll get a bit more structure in that by the end of the week, and we'll be able to uh, assess that a little bit uh, better. Um, this is Square here, um, so Square and PayPal to me are the new banks, so um, I prefer to follow these guys than, and trade these guys and be in, have money in these guys. Um, so we could look at this as the same as the NASDAQ, if I could just borrow that for a moment and put this Wave 1 here and Wave 2 here and Wave 3 coming up here, Wave 4 and Wave 5 coming into this space here for this something like that. So um, it's pro I'm looking at this here as third wave with one and two and three and four and then going up for five. I haven't pulled that apart, but there's probably a bit more in that and, and so on here. And then wave five moving up into the 250 area, which is a medium level. So I'll just copy that there. Don't need this down at the 50 now. So I'll move that up there. Um, yeah, just the level. So, uh, and there'll be minor levels in through here as well. So, um, uh, 10, 20, and 30 will be in here, which is group one. Uh, so, anyway, just uh, checking that. Um, also, we're long in Apple. So, um, the other day it's pushed up quite nicely. So, we're long before that happened. Um, so yeah, this is a slightly different count, a bit more in line, um, well, the A, the B, and the C for wave four here, uh, then wave one and two, and one and two here. So it's a different count, um, but still we're looking up for wave three here, looking a bit short here at the moment. I can still see it's got further to go, um, but there will be a pattern across the across the 30 there, so we can expect, so I should just move that then and just do that properly so the arrival the reaction the first high above the level some sort of i'm exaggerating the size of it the abc here and then up from that point there we can look at that probably as a wave four and a wave five up in that space i mean even if you don't trade stocks and you trade the indices i mean it's kind of important to understand what's 
driving and what's you know how things are happening we know a lot of small stocks have uh, been um, been the catalyst in in driving the markets to the upside so we can see this here it's got a got a you know got more legs in it here unless we call this way blue wave one here so that's option two so we might need to do that I'll just copy that and put that there for a moment and I'll just think about that um, the problem with that there of course is that there's overlapping wave structures we can count that as one and two and three and four here uh, oh, I suppose it overlap it does overlap a bit uh, and then wave five here um, so then I'll probably need to investigate this here but consolidation here and a consolidation here um, tends to put it as a um, wave C but then again it hasn't dropped down below this mark here as well so um, it can be um, wave one but um, yeah a bit of a bit of a long shot but we may have to revert to that um, we'll see how we go um, because this will take longer to to unfold than the other markets um, and then Facebook as well here so um, yeah so a couple of days ago we were looking for one more little push down so we've got that and now we're sort of here um, let's just see if it pushes up um, to have support this is all in group two here it's being supported in group two it was the resistance over here and now it's becoming the support so it would be nice to see the I mean we can see it sitting on 72 here the two, 272 but um, we want it sitting on the 80 here as a tested support that will be the safe trade to the upside okay let's have a look at um, the S&P now I've got the S&P counted uh, differently than the Nasdaq so the Nasdaq we were coming up to the third wave it was just a little bit hard to put um, copy this here for wave one here and then have wave three just here it's just you know a little bit too short it could be it, it's possible um, so I won't take that away from it but um, I'll just stick this here for the time being and we'll work with this here as being five waves up here it would be a better fit um, but obviously it's much different from the nasdaq so one of them can be right or wrong or well, they both could be right um, but uh, we'll just continue to follow the inter intraday structures and uh, move along with that we i do have another positive count for this as well um, which we can look at but this is what we've been chatting about lately is wave one and two and three here I'm not sure where my four's gone but uh there we go this platform is pro real time through um ig market so it's a cfd product uh version 10.3 they've just updated to um version 11 but I just I haven't moved to that just yet because um, I need to make adjustments to all my charts and things and there's a lot of labeling I need to change because it's each chart that I have here um, I've got separate labeling on in different time frames with the new one it's put them all together um, so I've, I've got to kind of figure out how to um, un, unchain that um, so one and two and three and four here and one and two and one and two in here and three and four and then five waves up here for wave three back for wave four and going up for wave five so if the extensions in wave three here normally wave one here and wave five are roughly the same now we can look at this as wave one here and wave two here and um, wave three coming into play here and wave four and wave five finishing there it's also possible to put uh, wave four uh, here as well on this one because I can count five waves coming down through here and it is possible to count three waves going up into that space so that's a bit contentious the other way to look at all of this of course is putting this over here and putting this over here as well and having uh, this move up through here for this so that's something that we need to look at as well so I'm just going to go to the 15 minute chart and pick that up from this point which has got the green wave three here and four here not that it's a big deal at this point um, so yeah counting this as an A and a B and one and two and three and four and five here for the B wave 
which I have on the tick chart, and then the other C wave here, because I can count five waves down here, but it is rather short for a C wave, so it does chuck a bit of a spanner in the works. And if I counted that as wave one here, by the way, and back for wave two here, then I need to count this as one, two, three, four, five here, and put wave three here, which would be in line with the NASDAQ. But that's, you know, that's just creating overlapping wave structures at that point, you know. Or I could take wave one here and put this here and put wave two here in that case. So just being conservative based on that, um, we could see this come down to the 50-60% retracement level, which would be down here at that point. So you'd need to be mindful of that. We're leaving the stop out of the way. Um, probably haven't gone long here and you sh shouldn't have just yet because it's not a classic trading levels pattern. So we move that and put that over here. So we have the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, uh, the first move down, the second high above the level, and you should be able to put it over onto that next one there as well. So that's where that will go. Um, so this can be counted differently. Um, the NASDAQ's got much of a much cleaner sort of count uh, than this. I'm just going to the tick chart here and just go on to the weekly chart. And I'm looking at the cash market as well with all of this. Um, where are we here? A week at least. So in this case, you know, I can count... Um, I can count this, well I can also count this down as five waves here, a bit of a stretch but it's possible um, if it's okay, otherwise an A and a B and a C and the wave four can you know, go over here, but it just seems that we've got three waves up here and this can be counted as five waves down. Now it hasn't pulled back down to the lower end here, but this low, when we talk, we're in group, we're in minor group two here, which is 65 here. Uh, 72 up here and 80 here. Now it's, it looks like a big deal in the tick charts here, but when you go on the daily chart or the four hour chart, it's quite close, not a big deal. Um, the other point here, uh, yeah, I mean, the other point here really is that um, between within group two, the 65, 72, and the 80 here, that's just the skeleton of group two. There's lots of other numbers in here that are in, important, all the even numbers and whole numbers and so on. So 3,700 is important. And then we've got group one of 10, 20, and 30, and then 50, and then subgroup two in here. We've got subgroup two here. Uh, so there's a lot of other important. It just depends on the degree of structure that you're trading at that point. Look, the takeaway from all of this is that... Um, uh, we're seeing impulse waves to the upside, right? So that means that the trend is to the upside. So the next long trade, as I just mentioned, is just above this level here on the 3700, okay? <clears throat> So once the NASDAQ finishes its little move to the upside, which will be very shortly, then um, we're going to see a correction. Uh, in, both ca in both cases, we're going to see a correction. So that's what we'll be monitoring at that stage. Um, so, but we expect one more new high here to come into play for this. And we're counting up here as one and two and three and four and five. So not much more to go. So I'll leave it um, at that. Um, but of course, keep you updated of any turn. Cheers.